Hello, good evening, Abigail. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> what is ooh? Like, did you say ooh or ooh? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Is asombro. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so you're amused. You're amused. Why? Uh, because I only me. <laughs> oh, because it's only me. Because it's only me in the class. Well, it is what it is, you know. I don't know what's going on with everyone. We are too few. We are getting close to the ending tomorrow is our last day actually that may be the reason carlos good evening charlie you, how are you charlie very nice very nice okay good abigail what have you done today give me what have you done today? Mm. What have you been up to? Okay. Um. <laughs> For example, me, I have I have worked um, from five to twelve thirty. I've worked from five a.m. to twelve thirty p.m. Then I, I've prepared the lunch. I prepared lunch for my kids, and I, I had um, I had lunch with them, and then I played with them. We we have watched a movie. We have watched uh, Matrix for the first time. The Matrix for the first time with my kids. That was amazing. <laughs> And then I I have taught I have taught a class before yours I have taught a class which was very interesting too. Okay, what have you done? Um, I wake up early. Okay, so you say I have. I have wake up early. I have woken up. Look at the chat. I have, then you have the past participle of the verb, remember? So wake wake up, woke up, woken up. Wake up, woke up, woken up. So I have woken up early. Hmm. And then? Um, mm -hmm. I, I go to the work. Okay, so again, I have gone to work. I have gone to work. He ido a trabajar. Mm -hmm. um, I look at TV. I have looked TV. I have watched. Okay, good. I have watched TV. I have watched TV. He visto televisión. Hmm. Please tell me. Mm -hmm. I have practiced mm -hmm. my English. Um. <laughs> No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. I, I yes, I am. Um, I have um, exercise in the platform. Oh, good. I have done the exercises on the platform. <laughs> good. Thank you for that, Abigail. I hope everybody has done the exercises on the platform. Has finished the exercises on the platform. That's very important for you to finish the exercises on the platform, okay? Okay, Giovanni, good evening. 
I agree with him for sure. How's it going? I am fine. I'm fine today. What have you done today? No. I, I have I have do exercise. I have done morning, exercises. Done okay. exercise in the morning. I go to my job. I've gone to work. I gone to work. And I have the um, the Christmas dinner at Morrison. Oh really? You had it. I okay, I have Christmas. I have had the Christmas had lunch. The Chris oh, lunch. The Christmas lunch. Um, Where was it? In the company? The company, yes. Okay. I am a small, a small, small group. A union, oh. I'm a small reunion, a small group of people. Partners, partners? Part co-workers. Co-workers. And, and then in all evening work hard. The whole evening I worked hard. Okay, good. Okay, guys, don't forget to practice this, this, this sentences, the tenses that you have seen up until now. No se les olvide practicar los tiempos gramaticales que han visto hasta el día de ahora. Lo que no se está practicando se arruina. Okay, y no tengan miedo de equivocarse. Eso es necesario que se equivoquen. Si no, pues eh, no, no hay autocorrección si no se equivoca uno. Okay, y es lo primero que se debe perder, el miedo de equivocarse. Okay. Good. So, I'm missing Juan. Good evening, Juan. Good evening, teacher. All good? I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. If you understood the reference, you're from my era. <laughs> you're a millennial if you understood the, the reference. Okay, what's in it today? What's our schedule for today? Uh, can somebody tell me where were we? We were talking about gerunds and short responses. So do I, neither do I, right? Remember? So let's yes. move on. Tonight, we have to talk about some pronunciation. Listen, pronunciation. It's not pronunciation, pronunciation no. Okay? Ni pronunciation, no. Pronunciation. So let's start by correcting that part. How do you say this word? How do you read this word? Pronunciation. Okay, let me show you again. So pronunciation. I want you to cover your nose again. I think we did this exercise before. Cover your nose. Come on, do uh -huh. it. Okay, now say, say, niño, niño. Niño, niño. Where's the ñ? Where's the ñ? Okay, say, nine. 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 Ese, ah, se queda trabada la ñ. Okay, la ñ se queda trabada ahí. Eso es un sonido nasal. Sentir Bravazote. What? Ramazote. Ramazote. Oh, come on, no. Okay. <laughs> Esa, esa sensación que tenés de mm, mm, la tenés que sentir en la en la segunda sílaba de esta palabra déjame ver ajá en la segunda sílaba Ahí, lo janano. algo un poco sí correcto es un sonido nasal so you say pronunciation 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 oye pronunciation go pronunciation Perfect. There you go. So, pronunciation of what? Unreleased and released t sound and the sound. I repeat, pronunciation unreleased and released t and d. Okay, it sounds weird, but that's what it is. Let me play the video. Let's pay attention. Then we will practice, okay?
want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation Unreleased and released T and D Part A Listen and practice Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Released and released. Okay, necesito que alguien me explique esto. Lo que dice ahí. Um, vamos a practicar el lógico, ¿no? El sonido de t o v, v, v. Okay. Al final de una palabra y luego dice a word is followed by a consonant. Cuando una palabra tiene ese sonido t o d al final y luego va seguido de una palabra con una consonante, ¿ok? Eso, esa es unreleased. Vamos a ver. She's not she's not good at math. She's not good at good at math. Hmm. He's not good at good at. She, he's not a good artist. He's not a good artist. He's not a good not a not a not good not good. Okay. So, ¿a qué se refiere con unreleased y released? Para empezar, ¿qué quiere decir release? Ay, yo lo entiendo como sol y sin soltar, no sé, algo así. No hay ningún fan de Pearl, no hay ningún fan de Pearl ya me aquí, ¿verdad? Ok. <risa> Liberar. Liberar. Release. Soltar, liberar, dejar ir. Mm, ok. So, el prefijo on denota negativo. Unreleased. Sin liberar, sin soltar, como decía Marlon, ¿ok? O sin liberar. Eh, released, liberado. ¿Qué es lo que no vas a liberar y lo que sí vas a liberar? El sonido de T o de. Perfecto, Giovanni. El sonido T o el sonido Hay De nuevo el sonido T o el sonido D. De hecho, ya de por sí. Bueno, a ver, ¿por qué se da esto? Eh, cuando en una negativa, por ejemplo, el sonido es not. Ok, she's not good at math. Estoy exagerando. She's not good at math and science. Está clarísimo. No puedes decir she's not good at, she's not a. She's not a, no, no, ni puedo. She's not, tengo que hacer la pausa. She's not, not, a diferencia de decir Nora, Nora, ok. Hate it, hate it. En los que sí liberas, se pronuncia como ere, que es lo que yo tanto les he dicho, ¿no? Es, es otra manera de decir esa regla que tanto les, les um, hincapié, les hago yo, en que cuando la T está entre dos vocales, suena a ere. Right? Lo mismo pasa con la D. D. Ok. Anira. Anira. Uh -huh. Y si sí tiene más sentido, ¿no? Es esa. esa um, ese tipo de frases donde la T está en medio de dos vocales, suena R. La D está en medio de dos vocales, suena R. Okay. Si no, entonces suena estrictamente a T o a D. Veamos el último ejemplo. You need. You need to, ahí no puedo decir you need to, you need to manage, sin embargo, si lo hacemos en inglés natural, o sea, you need to manage money well. You need to manage money well. Ok. 
Let's go one by one. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Okay. And released. He's not a. He's not a good. A, he's not a good artist. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. They really hate it. I need a. I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. We get you say. I need a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. I need a plan to get out of here. Get out of. Get out of. Get out of. Out of here. That's another example. No digo. I need to get out of here. Unless you are Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? <laughs> I need a plan to get out of here. That's different. Okay. Questions. No questions. Sure. Uh, yes. I have a question. For example, the sentence, what are you talking about? Uh, what? You... what? It's not ending with T, but the sound ends with T and it's pronounced like, what are you talking about, right? What are, what are you talking what about? What are you talking about? What are you talking mm -hmm. about? Excellent. Uh, very good. Eso es de lo que estamos hablando. I think uh, that I have understand it. Right. <laughs> Fíjate que ahí incluso se rompe esa regla de cierta manera. Mm -hmm. Porque yo siempre les he dicho que no digan, what do you do? Sino, what do, what what do, you, do, we, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Igual que, what did you do? What do you do? What do you read? What do, what do you... Ok, por lo mismo de la D entre las vocales. Uh -huh. Ahí se viola un poco. Esa ok, good. Um, so, if you don't have any questions, let's try to follow this structure. I'm going to send this to your WhatsApp, the image, because you cannot read it very well. And then I will ask you to write down two sentences at least, okay? Try to write down two sentences where you can use this grammar rule, this pronunciation rule. Eh, si no lo entendieron, se lo voy a hacer rápido por aras del tiempo. Estoy enviando la imagen al grupo para que ustedes en grupos pequeños, ahorita que los voy a dividir, puedan crear por lo menos dos oraciones siguiendo esos ejemplos de pronunciación, ¿ok? Very good. We are eight, so we're going to be just three groups. Sí, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> ok, let's go. We have a trio and two couples. Okay, okay. Todos tenían la cámara para. Yes. Can you show me the page? Or share. Puede mostrarla. Compartir. Can you change? La imagen. Compartir. Share. The picture. Share, share the, picture. the picture. Good Juan. Can you share the picture? Hello, Stephanie. Good to see Hello, you. Oh my God, your face. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Siempre estoy presente. <laughs> Good. I don't see you guys. I mean, you turn off the camera. I'm the only one with the camera on. I mean, okay. Good. Okay. Come on. Let's come up with examples. Let's follow the structures. Samples. Did you see there? Teacher, según entendí, son ejemplos en base a lo que ella nos compartió. Right. Sí, mm -hmm. vamos a hacer ejemplos en base a lo que les acabo de compartir. Mm -hmm. Donde se cumpla esto, ¿no? Eh, cuando vas, no vas a, a, son, a soltar el sonido t, t, o el sonido mm -hmm. d, d, el sonido de la T o el sonido de la D al final de una palabra. Mm 
Estamos viendo final sounds, estamos viendo sonidos finales prácticamente, de cualquier palabra. Pero en este ejemplo, terminando en sonido T y en sonido D. D. Working. Okay. ¿Cómo harías esto? Pues empezar a pensar um, en palabras que terminen con T. Ok. Vamos a hacer ejercicio juntos aquí en este grupito. Okay. Regálenme verbos, great, palabras great. Great que, termine, idea. que terminen en T o en D. Great, dijo Juan. Ok, great. Mm, ¿Qué tal? Work. Want, want. Work, termina en K. k, k. Sonido, sonido K. Great, want. Decían por ahí, need. T, t or D. T Both. or D. It. Both. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. It. 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 Okay. It. Fine. Hola, fíjense Fine. que me gustaría que llegara. Correct. Uh -huh. um, next. El <laughs> verbo, <laughs> sí. Yeah, mm, no, uh, that's a connector. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero también es válido. Ajá. Podemos usarlo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ahorita necesito que pensemos en verbos, conectores, o cualquier palabra que termine con ah. sonido, sonido T al final, sonido T al final, o D. Sonido D o sonido T al final. Uh -huh. That's it. Ok, quedémonos con estos ejemplos. La siguiente parte. ¿Qué sigue después? Vamos a armar una oración utilizando cualquiera de estos. Uh -huh. Por ahí decía Juan, es una gran idea. Great idea. Great idea. Es una great idea. Ahí. Great. No, más bien, ahí sí suelto. Ahí sería unreleased. Unreleased. Perdón, sería released. Perdón. Released. Diría, it's a great idea. ¿No? It's a great, great idea. Great idea. Yeah. Ese es el punto. Great idea. No digo, it's a great idea. Right? Great idea. Uh -huh. Y con, con necesito podría ser I, I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Ok. Sería go de un solo o con el conector to. Near. A ver, está perfecta la, la, la versión estructuralmente. I need to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I need, I need. I need. Mm -hmm. to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I need to go I, to the gym. Yo diría, so I, need, I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Try it, Stephanie. Con el apóstrofe y la T. A ver. I ¿Cómo, le escri ¿Cómo le escribiría? ¿Escrito si iría así? Ahí está, en el chat. Ajá. Sí, sí, lo estoy viendo. Ajá, ajá. Ok, escrito iría así. Es de hecho, no puedo contractuar nada ahí. Ok. A ver, puedo contractuar, y este es el punto también, good, Stephanie, uh, contractuar la pronunciación. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Oh, ¿Sabes que en inglés? Así muy, muy natural. Incluso obvias el sujeto. Need to go to the gym. Hoy, need to go to the gym. Oye, qué raro se oye Giovanni cuando pronuncias muy fuerte la T. Decilo de nuevo. To, to I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Cuando hacemos énfasis. Ay, como que estás haciendo énfasis en, en la preposición, en el tú. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso. Trata de suavizar tu inglés uh, pronunciando como una R, la T entre dos vocales y la D igual entre dos vocales. So I need to, I need to go to the gym. Entre dos vocales. Entre dos vocales, correcto. Ese es como ante el coro que dijo la vez pasada. Sí, ante todo el sonido, chicos. No tanto la estructura, sino el sonido de las vocales. Hoy, need to... ¿Qué suena más? Need to... 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 Need to...
la, la, las consonantes o las vocales. Need to, por lógica, las vocales, ¿verdad? Siempre en todas palabras. So I need to, I need to, I need to. Need to go. I need to go to the gym. I need to go. I need to go. Ah, Ru. <risa> es que estás clavado con el tú. Ajá. I, need to, I need to go to. Va, hace un ejemplo. Hace un ejercicio. Apaga la cámara si querés y te da pena. Y mira. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. No muevas la boca. I need to go to okay. the gym. Ok. Intenta. <risa> si la apagó. <risa> Pues sí, se le está diciendo. Para que le diga. Ves. Go to the gym. Ah, oh, seguir diciendo tú. I need to go to the gym. Need to go. Agarrate la boca, Giovanni. I, I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Seguir diciendo tú. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Ahora solo decir go to go to go to go to go. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. Go to the gym. Ah, ya casi, ok. Revisé el video. Let's keep practicing, ok. ¿Qué harías con los demás? Necesito comer una banana. Va, necesito comer una banana. I need to... I need... I need to eat a banana. I need to eat a banana. I need to eat a banana. Stephen is like, oh my god, no. I yeah. need a banana. Um, digamos I que tengo a... que, vaya, I have to. I have to eat a banana. I have to eat a banana. 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 I have to eat a banana. I have to eat a banana. 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 Ir o ira. Eh. Ir a banana. Ir a banana. Ahí estás. I have to eat a banana. I have to eat, I have to eat, eat banana. two bananas. Ahora muévamelo. I have to eat two bananas. I have to eat two bananas. Ahí si haces una pausa, no puedes decir I have, I have to eat. Ir a ru. Ir a bananas. Ir, no, no suena. I have to eat a banana. Ir a bananas. No. I have to eat two bananas. Ok, three bananas. Four. I have to eat four bananas. Tienes que hacer la pausa del it. Tantas, ¿ya? Ok, keep going. Find. ¿Qué es find? Encontrar. Encontrar. Tengo que encontrarlo. I need to find it. I need to find it. Necesito encontrarlo. Ok, I need to find it. I, I need, need to find, find it. it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Y si lo queremos complementar, uh, sí, por ejemplo, que... I have to find a boyfriend. Really? I have to find a boyfriend. Nuevo. Oh, ok. <risa> I have to find a new boyfriend. Ok, a entonces boyfriend. lo unís. Find that. Find that. Have find to find a, new, find a new boyfriend. Find Very a good. new boyfriend. Una consonante, chicos. Consonante. I need to find, I need to find. Mm, the time. I need to find the time to talk to her. No, I don't need sentido. I need to find her. I need to find her. I need to find him, Stephanie. I need to find him. Ahí se hace una pausa porque suena him. 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 Empieza con una consonante. La siguiente palabra que va después de find. Okay? That's the point. Bien. Keep going. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hmm. Very much. Um, <laughs> así es lo que entendemos de esta cuestión. Como Perfect. Lo que puesto aquí arriba. Cuando después de la T o D hay una vocal, se hace de corrido, ¿verdad? En cambio, si hay una consonante, se hace la pausa. Más o menos, por ahí. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Fíjate que con el otro grupo lo que hicimos fue buscar palabras o verbos que terminarán uh -huh. con sonido T o con D, como ustedes han hecho según veo. I cried because I wasted my money. I wasted. I wasted my money. I cried because I wasted my money. I wasted my money. Pero sería wasted. Wasted. Right? Wasted. 
I wasted my money. I follow your your advice to how to learn to pronounce all that things with all ending those... with ending in ed, ed? right? <laughs> uh huh. And it helped me a lot. It, it works. Helps me a lot. It mm -hmm. helped. Helped. It helped a lot. It helped me a lot. Okay. He lost his, her keys. He lost her keys. Lost her keys. You don't release the t sound. Bien, el punto de esto, Carlos, eh, creo que Marlon ya, no sé si Carlos ya, ya, ya lo entendiste, Carlos. Eh, 50%. Uh -huh, loading, ahí <ríe> cargando. <ya. Okay. ríe> Bye, chivo, pero me llega, honestidad. A ver, he lost. Ese sonido no lo soltás. Cuando no lo soltás, seguís con el sonido del final. Es lo que estamos viendo, sonidos finales. I cried because wasted my, ok, lost her, ok, no podría decir lost her, lost her, oí, I lost her, mm. I, I, lost, lost. I lost her kiss, ok, I've hit, I've hit a, I've hit a ball out of the field last match, hmm. I've hit a ball out of the field last match. Hmm. On the last match? Yeah, I think it sounds better, right? I've hit a ball on the field. Uh oh, I've hit a ball out of a hill. I hit a ball out of. That's a good way out of friend. Out, out, out of. Out of. Out of. Out of. I, I've hit a ball out of the field on the last match. On the last match. On the last match. On the last match. On last match. On, last match? No, on, the, on the last match. With the pronoun. With the article, yeah. Article, on sorry. the last match. I've hit a ball out of the field on the last match. I, I've hit a ball on... As, even as a mí me cuesta a veces, créemelo. Es, <laughs> por no practicar mucho, eh, eh, a veces. I've hit a, I've hit a ball out of the field on the last match. Did I miss anything? I've hit a ball out of the field on the last match. Wow, yeah. That's a good one. She won. Carlos estaba echando este, you know? Okay, but this is third person. Now, be careful. This is third person. She wants. Wants. She wants. There, ya perdiste el sentido okay, de, yeah, de yeah, release. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, podrías cambiar el sujeto. I want. Y eso me preguntaba Carlos, de que si podíamos usar cualquier pronombre, pero creo que no, ¿verdad? O a sea, menos que de adelante esto, de la oración usemos una que termine con D o con T, ¿verdad? Y ahí podamos practicar este release o un release. De hecho, la palabra release... Por ejemplo, por ejemplo tícha, a mí se me venía la palabra it, comer, que termina con T. ¿Cómo Entonces, diría tengo que comer un montón de frijoles? Marlon, tengo que comer un montón de frijoles. I want to eat a lot of beans. Oh, quiero, vaya. Okay, quiero comer un montón. Ah, I, need, I need to eat. I, 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 Eat a lot of, eat a lot of, eat a lot of pins. ¿Qué es esto que estamos viendo? Es lo que yo tanto hincapié les hago, en lo que tanto les hago hincapié yo. Cuando una T está entre dos vocales, suena R. Con una D está entre dos vocales, suena R. That's it. Yo no me sabía el de la D, fíjese. Y de es verdad que sí. <ríe> es la misma regla. Ok. Questions. No, teacher, no questions. Not. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's go back. Don Juan. Don Juan, Don Juan. Where are you, Juan? 
Hey, hello, Marlon. Hello. How are Glad you? to see you. I'm good to see you uh, too again. Huh? Thank you, me too. Again. 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 Again or again? Again. 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 I'm glad to see you again. 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 Okay. I'm concerned. We are we are only five today. That's really concerning. Okay, guys, do you have any questions? Um, so as we said before, what we're working on, this pronunciation topic has to do with the T between two vowels and the V between two vowels. So when, when the T is between two vowels, it sounds like a little R, right? Not a good, not a good, not a good, not a good artist. They really hate it. Okay, they really hate it. I need a, I need a cup of coffee. Juan was given an example. That's a great, uh, that's a great idea. That's a great. Huh, Juan? Yes, uh, release. This is Seria in release. Release. Yeah. It's a okay. great, great, great. It's a great, great idea. idea. It's okay, let's idea. let's do a few more examples. I'm not very good at. I'm not very good at math. Very good at good at good at math. Try it. One, two, three. Marlon, what are you not good at? I'm not good at. Uh, I'm not good cooking. <laughs> okay, I'm not good at cooking. Repeat. I'm not good at cooking. I'm not good at cooking. Good. Juan, what are you not good at? Good at. I had a two. No. Este Juan es bueno en todo. Sorry. Um, I need to. I need to go to the. No. Yeah. La idea es no pronunciar el la el tú. La T. ¿verdad? La T, la T fuerte, correcto. I need to go to the doctor. 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 Easy. I need to need to need to need to go to the doctor. Go to go to the doctor. Okay. Uh Stephanie, I don't mind. Oh, Giovanni, I'm sorry. Giovanni, I don't mind. Okay. Uh, sorry. I don't mind. I I don't mind. Um, no me importa. I I don't mind be chilling night. I don't mind. I don't mind being being chilling tonight. Oh, I don't mind being chilling tonight. Perfect. I already finished the platform. <laughs> Great, <laughs> Stephanie. I don't mind. We lost her. No, no, no. She's there. She's just preparing herself. I give an answer. I don't meet. I don't meet Corin, my boyfriend. Corin. I I don't mind. Repeat. Okay, again. I don't mind. I no. I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> Let me show you here one second. Let me show you something really quick. So you say I don't. Do you remember Moses when he says, right? Okay, I have the caps on. I'm sorry. I don't mind. I don't mind. Perfect. Mind. I don't mind cutting. Car uh, cutting. It's actually breaking up with my boyfriend. That's what you said, right? I don't mind breaking up with my boyfriend. Breaking up. Breaking up with my boyfriend. So I don't mind breaking up with my boyfriend. 
I don't mind breaking up, breaking up with my boyfriend. Perfect. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> okay. So that this is just pronunciation, guys. It's very simple. Let's move on to the next topic. The last uh, topic I will say that we're going to cover today. We have some vocabulary and to finish tomorrow, we're going to finish with clauses with because. So vocabulary, pers personal personality traits, personality traits. Hmm. Let's find out what is this about. Teacher, y mañana también vamos a hacer como la vez pasada, lo de revisar la plataforma juntos. Siempre excelente. Muchas gracias, Stephanie, por la pregunta de hecho. Cada final de módulo, es la última clase, se trata de revisar los temas de la, del examen final. Uh -huh. Contestar preguntas de ejercicios pasados, por si alguien no entendió. Recordar cómo rellamar lo que hemos visto durante el módulo, ¿no? Si no han terminado uh -huh. la plataforma. Ahora, yo les pedí ayer que terminaran esta noche la plataforma. Para uh -huh. darle tiempo a administración de manejarse ellos con las cuestiones de, del papeleo, porque hay que enviarlo en SAFORP para que validen los certificados y todo. Y si ustedes ajá, puedan continuar. Ajá, porque, por ejemplo, vi que en el grupo había una persona que ya había recibido su certificado. Pero no sé si ella es de otro grupo o es de nuestro no, grupo. No, si está en el grupo de, de WhatsApp es de nuestro grupo. De acá, de intermedio 2. Eh, sí, una vez tú terminas todos los ejercicios y si realizas el último examen, el examen final, Uh -huh. El sistema automáticamente te genera un certificado virtual. De hecho, ese es el certificado de este módulo. Pero importa pasarlo con 80% de todo el, el módulo de la plataforma uh -huh. para que Insafor vea tu avance y ya te avale el siguiente módulo y te puedas inscribir, que estaremos esperando empezar a, a finales de enero, según escuché por ahí un pajarito. Es que no lo recibí. No recibiste el certificado. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál fue tu score? 92, oh porque tuve una mala en la cual eh, conversamos con el grupo que fue el 5.0, ¿verdad, Giovanni? Ok, lo un, bueno un, es un, cuatro, pero... lo uh -huh. bueno es que la plataforma te permite realizar de nuevo el examen, entonces mañana vamos a revisar todas las dudas que tengas, mañana preparando, la revisamos en la plataforma, y pues ya pueden corregir, ¿no? Regresar a la plataforma, realizar esa evaluación de nuevo y ya generar de nuevo su certificado con una mejor nota si lo quieren hacer. Ok. Ok. Que no te haya dado el certificado, es probable que estuviera saturado en ese momento el, el servidor del, de la plataforma. Y mm -hmm. si, si de plano no lo hace, hay que contactar a la administración para que ellos vean la manera de solventar ese inconveniente, ¿ok? Y sorry. O el inconveniente. Okay. Okay. Porque el anterior tampoco llegó. En serio. ¿No llegó a la empresa o no te lo generó el sistema? No me llegó a mí. Oh, Pérez, ¿el certificado tiene que llegarle a la empresa o a mi correo? Eh, yo creería que solo el correo. De hecho, en muchas ocasiones solo te da la opción de descargarlo como PDF en la plataforma al terminar las, las evaluaciones, que es lo, lo que todo les ha pasado. ¿no? Si, si te pasó eso, Stephanie, ¿te generó el certificado en el momento? No. No, ok. Sí, sí, teacher, disculpe. Yo tenía el mismo problema que Stephanie, pero lo reporté con Oscar de ahí de inglés corporativo y ya me lo generó él y ya, ya lo puedo ver y generarlo yo. Entonces quizás tendría que reportarlo también a Stephanie. No sé. Sí, sería conveniente hablar con, con Oscar o con Elena okay. para que ellos lo vean, ok. Bien, okay. yo me encargo Gracias. de eso también, yo les informo. Thank you. Gracias. Ok, good. Let's finish uh, just watching this video of the last topic. One second. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous. Hardworking, impatient, level headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then 
Check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Okay. Um, so this topic is about listening, repeating first the adjectives, and then uh, the exercise is to identify which adjective best describes each character. So listen, we have bad tempered. That's negative, right? When you have bad temper. Okay. Creative. Very creative. Is that positive or negative? Positive. 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 Yes, that's positive. positive. Critical. Critical. Positive. Is that negative or positive? Positive. I don't like that adjective. I will say, yeah. yeah well, critical. Mm -hmm. Crit critic. Stephanie is critical. <laughs> right when you criticize someone or everything is that okay or bad it is a constructive critical it's mm -hmm. something good. if it is a constructive <laughs> critic constructive critic is good but in general terms criticizing is not good negative. that's negative okay disorganized negative repeat disorganized disorganized, disorganized. 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 Good. Very good. If, and by the way, disorganized is negative, right? Okay. Efficient. Efficient. It's positive. It's positive to be efficient. Positive. Forgetful. 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 That's right. Olvidadizo, huh? Negative. 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 Generous. Generous. Repeat, Positive. generous. 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 Ah, generous. Generous. Ah, quita la O, generous. 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 Lo mismo que jealous, jealous. Jealous. No, this is jealous, no, jealous. Quita la O. Jealous. Okay, positive or negative? Positive. Positive, generous. Okay. Hard working. Positive. Positive. Hard working. Unpatient. Negative. Negative. That's right. Level headed. Negative. Yeah? <laughs> okay. That's level headed. What is level headed? Elevado. Yes, very good. Moody. Temperamental. You got it. Yes. Temperamental. Mecha corta. Moody. Negative. 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 Punctual. 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 Okay, listen. Punctual. Punctual. Like punk. Exactly. Punctual. Punctual. Twelve, 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 punctual. Twelve. Punctual. Good, Stephanie. Punctual. Punctual. Okay. Next, reliable. Repeat, reliable. 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 
Reliable. Reliable. Reliable. Reliable. And the last one, strict. 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 Um, be careful with that one. There's no E at the end. So you say strict. Strict. Good. Giovanni, strict. Strict. Stephanie? Strict. Oh, there's no E. No hay una E al principio. Strict. Strict. Very good. Juan? Hello, Juan. Strict. Good. Strict. Strict. Now, let's listen to the four conversations. There are four conversations, and we need to identify um, each one of the adjectives that best qualifies each story. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Okay, so what adjective describes better a boss who doesn't li light up? No, between creative, forgetful, and serious. Serious. Serious, right? Giovanni, you got it? Serious. Serious. Um, did you hear the word they used? They said, unlike. So do I. Light up. Light up. Mm -hmm. I wish she could light up a little bit more. To light up. Iluminarse un poco más, something like that, right? It's a phrasal verb. Okay, let's go with the next one. Two, a co worker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Okay, number two. Hello. Why? What? She, Mary gave, Mary gave a great... Book? Present? A great book, a great present, right? A great book. Uh, to a co-worker, so is Mary unfriendly, generous, or strange? Generous. Generous, generous right? Mm. She's generous. Very good. A teacher. Three. Mm. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four. Okay, she's in a good mood in one minute and a terrible mood in the next minute. Moody. What? It's moody. Moody, moody. moody. yes, moody. that's moody, right? Moody. Oh, I forgot to mark the previous ones. Okay, yeah, she's moody or he's moody. She's moody, right? This one was generous and this is moody. Weird. Moody. Or a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Tempered. Yes, bad tempered. 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 Bad tempered. Okay, good guys. Bien, chicos. Eh, gracias por haber estado esta noche. Eh, les recomiendo que estudien mucho para mañana para que revisemos el examen uh, parte por parte y podamos practicar todos juntos. Esa es la idea que tengo de poder eh, compartir con ustedes cada tema y que lo practiquemos súper rápido. Sí, muy creativo, dinámicamente. Yes. Uh, thanks for everything. Ah, uh, not yet. Tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, come on, Juan. <laughs> you have to be here tomorrow. Todos okay, que yeah, see you. Llamen a sus compañeros ahorita. Digan, hey, tomorrow's the last class. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Take care. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.